panels, uh, corruption in and it of itself is a form of extremities. It is an act fueled by greed, lust, of ego and pride. It is a crime which benefits one and only one party alone, to the detriment of all those around them. This serves as the basis of the motion with which we as the government have brought forth to this debate. For to combat extremities, we must resort to extremities of our own. These corruptors need to realize that there are real consequences in regards to their selfless acts. For only through impoverishment and reparation will these corruptors learn the scope of their actions and how much it impacts everyone and everything around them. These corruptors are figures who for so long have been under the illusion that no matter what crimes they did, the most they will ever get in return is a symbolic fine meant to create a sense that justice has been served. It has not. And to answer the argument that the opposing team has put up of the immorality of this punishment on these corruptors, I would like to ask them, where were the morality of these people when they commit those acts? What logical reasoning is there for us to exempt them from their due consequences? And how would it ever be fair to the people whose lives they have ruined for years and years on end? To conclude my closing statements, I would like to point out that the ideas outlined by the, governing, the opening government has been thoroughly explained by the member of the closing government, all the way to the mechanisms in place such as the creation of a government institution that will handle the asset acquisition of people, the peoples involved in these corruptions, and also the rehabilitations of, uh, in, of facilities that benefit the poor people and those affected by these corruptions. And that the points in the opposing team's arguments has been adequately put it as uh, for example, the points made about the morality of impoverishment, as well as the point made about rehabilitating these corruptors instead of impoverishing them. With that, I close my case and that of my team. Thank you.